Regarding EU accession, you will all know that in the negotiations uh, we have what we call interim benchmarks, which are essential standards that need to be met to move forward uh, the final closing stages of a chapter. And we are always saying that for chapter three out of 20 benchmarks for the judiciary, six cover war crimes. And this shows uh, how important the area is for both a criminal justice perspective on one side, but also a human rights perspective on the other. If the inter -benchmark, uh, interim benchmarks are not met, unfortunately, the chapter cannot be closed. Therefore, we always say and we strongly encourage uh, the authorities to also really advance in all six interim benchmarks, and these range from hasting investigations and prosecutions to adjudication, victim and witness support and protection, to better regional cooperation uh, and cooperation with the IRMCT, as well as addressing the issue of missing persons. And as we mentioned also previously, I said it, public awareness of the past remains a great concern, not only here, but also in the region. And uh, I'm really glad uh, also to hear that, as I said already, it is one of the priorities in the strategy. Um, also, this is what we always say, as the largest donor to Serbia on its EU path, we are here to help. The vast majority of trainings in this area are financed by the EU through various support projects implemented by our partners in Serbia. We also heard already the Ambassador Barato, so including the OSC and the RIRMCT, and in the future also our colleagues from the UNDP. The content of the documents that we are here to discuss today provides a strategic framework for future progress and we are truly looking forward to seeing it implemented in an efficient and effective manner.